Hey, what's up guys, it's Rich. Welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. Today we are back on the PlayStation 4. I've had some issues recently with my recording software. The issues have been ironed out. We're back on the PlayStation. I haven't played on it for like four days, perhaps, maybe three. And when I jumped on today, I was so rusty. The game that you're going to watch is my second game on. God help me, my shotgun fights were absolutely tragic. Listen, this is just a forewarning. But anyway, today's video is going to be focused around the vending machines. It was an unexpected update from me, at least. I was expecting it tomorrow on Thursday. It came out today on Wednesday at like noon, which was very surprising. But anyway, these vending machines appear in uh, fixed locations. So they're like chests. They don't spawn in all the time because I definitely found one in the gameplay you're watching in the moment, sorry, at the moment in the intro. There was a vending machine at the storage place just north of Retail Row. The second game, which you're going to watch the full gameplay of, um, there wasn't one there. And there was two in Retail, which there wasn't before. So they're definitely not 100% spawns. And the way these vending machines work is they spawn in with a random rarity assigned to them. So there could be a rare vending machine, which is the blue rarity. And everything you can buy from that vending machine is going to be blue. So you get a blue tactical shotgun, you could get a blue scoped assault rifle, and those from the blue category are going to cost 300 materials across the board. It doesn't matter if it's wood, brick or metal, it's going to cost 300. And every layer above that costs an extra 100 materials. So once you get to legendary, you can get a legendary scar, legendary RPG, for example. They are going to cost you 500 materials to get. However, you do get rewarded because a gold scar is probably worth 500 wood if you've got 700, for example. So it's it, it creates this weird dynamic where build balls and materials are now some sort of currency in the game and you can get shields for example which is what i did in this game if i didn't find shields in the venom machine in retail row the next gunfight i definitely would have died so you could say that the venom machine saved my life in the game that you're about to watch a very interesting concept though one question that i did want to ask you guys is what do you think a legendary rpg should be worth though because 500 wood is very easy to get you can get that in maybe Two minutes at Wailing Woods, and if you find the legendary vending machine and there's an RPG in there, it's only going to cost you 500 wood. Should it be more than 500? Should it be 600? Should it be 700? Leave me your comments down below in the comment section. Leave a like right on the video if you go on to enjoy, and subscribe to join the iTempire Empire if you are new around here. I'll leave you all to enjoy the rest of the video, my friends. All right, the vending machines are here. This is one of the ones that I know the location of. I think it's, uh, I swear, I swear it should have been here. Someone's landed either side of it, so I need a gun sometime soon so I can get him. I land, oh, okay, are they not guaranteed locations? I thought they were, I was, I'm very confused about this. Good news is, I've got a chest here. With the purple heavy shotgun, okay. Wonder if we can make a play here. Get out the way, stairs. There was a guy behind this thing somewhere. Oh God, they're kicking off. I don't want to drop down. Oh, fine, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. They're in this thing somewhere. One's got a one's got like a a burst. I think he actually won that fight against the shotgun somehow. If I run through there, I don't have the right end peak. Where you go? Where are you going? There we go. Was that the guy that won the fight? Oh God! Okay. Okie doke. Okay. Whew. We got away. Blue burst. Uh, I need to get out of here a little bit because I need to use some of these bandages. Because your boy's on full health. Four. A via. I'm going to hide in this corner. Give me a second, okay? I landed here for the vending machine, and there's no vending machine. It's outrageous. There was one here last... Maybe they take, like, 30 seconds of spawning or something. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to go back to that location and check. Actually, I'm going to see if I can kill this guy first. I've no idea where he is, but... I thought I just heard him, but I'm fairly certain that was my own footsteps. All right, let's go random guy that shot me in the back. Where are you, friend? How do I get up? There we go. He must have been in this corner. Did I just see something down there flashing or something? Did someone just change down there? I think it may have, but I don't really know what to do about it. Yeah, the last time I was here, there's a vending machine. I'm just saying. Okay, I thought there were permanent locations. Apparently they are not. It's good to know. 
I see something blue in one of those containers that I definitely saw at the start of the game as well. Let me just... God, of course you've got the world's most amount of shield on. What else would you have? He's got himself a decent amount of uh, weapons either. Got himself a scope. No idea he was precisely accurate against me before. The problem is now I've got absolutely no health. I guess his place hasn't been looted like fully though. We can double check some places and hope that no one's placed a trap down or something. I know for sure there's a vending machine in retail row. And if they're not 100% spawns, uh, that they're at least very likely to spawn in. Because last time they were both there. Kind of. So I'm hoping if I go retail row, which is still safe, I'll be able to find myself a vending machine. Which would be nice. Uh, because I need a med kit. And I know for sure they can they can sell med kits. There's some places you can loot on the way as well, kind of. Like this, down here there's like uh, trucks with chests in the back and, and, and stuff like that. If I could find one, I'll be one happy man. Oh, well, there's the truck. Don't break my ankles. If I died from that, imagine the scenes. I need an ammo chest. I'm not going to go get it. It's a waste of time. The supply drop. The supply drop is sort of like a vending machine that is free, if you think about it. And it's close, too. I might just go over this way. It's so risky because I'm one shot to every weapon on the game. Apparently, they've changed the shooting. Oh, you see that? When it locks in, that's 100% accurate. I didn't read the pack. Didn't read the patch notes properly, but I've heard it was uh, the old limited time mode with damage drop off and, and stuff like that. Which means that the wait, did I just? I don't think. I think it was things rendering in. Oh, this is so close to retail row. This is a, this is a complete death trap. This may not be worth it, friends. Please land so I can get my loot and run away. Come on, come on, come on. All right, there we go. Here's the legendary <laughs> vending machine. I'm gonna go like this so I can take, uh, oh, darn it. That is one of the worst ones I could have had. Run, run away. No one's seen me, I don't think. All right, let me get by this tree. I'm gonna bandage up, take those impulse grenades. A gold desert eagle, it could have been so much better. Could have been so much better, it's okay. Let's go check the vending machine in retail row and know exactly where it is because I've this is my second game of the day and I went here before. May as well keep the old deagle there. My inventory is actually looking pretty good to be honest with you. The best type of burst you can get. A purple heavy shotgun. Purple scopes which is the best scopes you can get. And a gold desert eagle. I mean at the very least it's looking colourful. Alright, I don't want to expend too many materials here, because I'm going to need them to use the old venom machine. Which is just here, look. Got to check for traps on this one, though. Just in case. Hunting rifle. What else you got for me? SMG. If this is another SMG one... Oh, minis for 200 wood! Yes! That's what we needed! That is what we needed, friends. In fact, I might leave the bandages there as, like, a distraction. Because they'll look at the bandages and maybe not the trap that's above them. Who knows? Clearly someone's had a bit of a scrap in here, but... I didn't realize he was up top. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. He had nine minis. He had so much shield as well. I'm so rusty on this version. On, the, on console. It's been a little while since I played it. I've had issues with my Elgato and stuff, so I just haven't been playing it on console recently. I haven't been able to record or anything. The good news is we can get back up to uh, to a decent amount of health here. I'm going to have to drop that, I think. Throw that there, I'll take my scope's weapon back. Alright, there we go. My shotguns especially is real bad. I don't think my AR my AR shot would be any any worse, but my shotgun one definitely would, is, is like far worse than it usually is. And it, it wasn't good to begin with, let's be real. Shotgun was probably my least... Like, my least skillful part of my game. I always... I always suck at shotgun fights. 
All right, well, we're just about safe. I'm not really sure on the rest. Wait, there's another vending machine I just spied. In one of these shops, I swear. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's another vending machine. Let's go check this out. I can see blue. The way it works is... The amount of uh, materials it costs depends on the rarity of it. So this is 300 because it's a rare one. Sh rare pump, I don't need the pump. Although I could double pump. I could try and pump and then go into the heavy shotgun or something, but I'm not going to do it. I don't need it. I've already got myself the uh, minis from one of the vending machines. Let's see where else is safe. Salty Springs, Salty Springs must have a vending machine as well. So I wonder if we can head there. What the heck is going on over here? Is that a guided missile? Where did that come from? He must have spied me, so I reckon he may be up top. Okay, so it's coming from behind that house. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I might just gonna have to do this every single time though. I wonder if I can hide from this one. Maybe go more to the left or something. Oh, I see him. I see him. I'm coming for you. Can you get launch pads from a vending machine? How amazing would that be? Launch pads, campfires, that would be next level. Mind you, they would be expensive because they're obviously uh, the rarity of them. I think he just sniped my kill. He did indeed. Well, he's got a guided missile launcher, so if you want to take that, uh, feel free, and then I'll just try and kill you. There's a chest behind me, but I've got more pressing concerns here. Where did he get sniped from? Okay, he's building up to his loot. The best loot is down low, though. He's gonna, he's gonna realise this, and he's gonna come down this way. His best loot is down low. He's up top, though. Yeah, come get this loot. There's a launch pad up there. Come get this loot. There he is. He doesn't know where I am though, that's the thing. He doesn't know I'm here. The best loot is down this way. I just had to do it to him. Gold RPG, but where's the, uh, where's the rocket launcher? Where's like the guided missile launcher? It's a gold one as well. Oh my word. And I'll probably take the sniper. That is what we needed, friends. That is what we needed. We've got a guided missile launcher with 45 rockets. We have two launch pads here. I wanted to see if Salty Springs had a... Had a... Uh, a whatchamacallit. What is it called? A vending machine. This is some of the most outrageous loot I've had in a long time. Blue Burst, considered by many to be one of the best assault rifles. I'm amongst those people now. I've, I'm, I'm converted. For sure. That is gold. That looks like a gold scar, to be honest. That is a gold minigun. Never mind, friends. Never mind. Uh, I want to take these stairs. I don't think I have enough time. And I don't have a healable. So it's not worth going in the storm for it. If I had like a slurp potion, it'd probably be worth it. But at the moment, it's definitely not... There could be a vending machine around here somewhere. Let me just double check. I don't actually know the locations. They've only just come out, so... I'm trying to trying to remember where they are. I'm not going to check too much. I doubt, I doubt they'd be down low. There's a chance, but... If they're not up top and obvious... It's probably not worth checking that much. I see someone in the distance, but he's so far away. So his springs is about to be pushed out. I've been playing so sloppy, and I would like to apologise. I even missed my first burst on that guy, and he was literally just standing there, looting. And I still missed my first burst on him. Tra tragic comes to mind. But it's fine. We are still alive. We've got four kills. We've visited two vending machines so far. Is that, is that something purple top? I know, it's like a, a purple towel. Gosh darn it. I still gain more wood by going up there. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> what is that contraption someone has built? Hang on, let me, let me check Salty Springs real quick. I reckon if there is a vending machine, it makes sense to put it near the gas station. So that's, that's the first place I'm going to check over here. If it's not there, oh, there we go. I should use the guided missile launcher here. 
Has he just rushed that? Or was it he's already? I really couldn't tell you. Oh, I can't just... Let's go, friends. Well, I found the loot. Reload. Off we go again. There's some more to the left building something, I think. That guy's going to be building, like, here, here, here. I wonder if he knows. He, okay, he definitely knows now. I've taken off all of his shield. There's only six other people left. One of them's here. One of them's on the right somewhere. This guy's definitely spooked out. I'm going to try and take a wider angle a little bit. He's probably gone inside, maybe. Was I aiming in the corner? I'm going to fire one more because the storm's coming in. I'm technically not safe. And me seeing here doing this is definitely not advisable. For too long, at least. Can't see that guy. Okay, that's it. That's enough. We've got a hit. We've taken off all of his shield. It does so much damage, that RPG. I landed it right next to him, so... I don't want a shotgun scrap. I want to fire off this. Okay, don't kill me. No one kill me. I want a shotgun scrap in here. I think he's built... Yeah, he's built like a proper little thing there. One more, maybe? He knows what's happening. That's the annoying part. I don't... I don't know if that... Like, there was a shotgun fight going on, though. He's down there. One... Okay, I can't do one more. I see him moving now. <laughs> God damn it, Ridge! There was a tree there! There was a tree in the way! Okay, I've seen him now. Do you reckon I can get away with it? Do you think I can get away with it? Oh, he's still got shield on. Who is this man? Oh, he just got shot. Them. No! I think that was... Yeah, it was. Look at this. And this guy knows about my guiding missile launcher too. Come on. This is outrageously unfair. He was in there somewhere. One more. These things are way too fun. Way too fun. He just keep... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna get rid of it. No, I didn't do that to begin with, to be honest with you. I'm clearly not good with the scar today, so I'm dropping that. There's medkits here that I don't need. I don't need... Okay, I could try and take materials, but I can't because I'm max, apparently. All right, well, interesting. Someone's chilling behind me. Okay. Let me get a little bit of distance here because... This guy is absolutely mental. I'm going to try and get an accurate first shot. Didn't really need it, to be fair. The guy's dead. All right, there's two other people left here. Two other people. This game has been a bit of a weird one. I feel like I've <laughs> actually been playing so bad. But please, you've got to let me off. I need these rockets and stuff. Yeah, the blue assault rifle. I'm taking a trap. I can always launch pad away from this. I cannot believe I put that launch pad underneath. Underneath that tree. No one sniped me. There's two people left and there's a huge circle here. So what's going on? I can always scout. Okay, there must be someone in that base on the right, surely. There's a loot palm next to it. I think I saw someone's head poking out. I'm not... In I'm not entirely sure about it though. Oh my god, this one here. What are you doing? Yeah, use your ammo up and then... Yeah, genius. That did not work out. As long as you don't panic... Oh my god. As long as you don't panic in those situations when they have an RPG, 
you are fine. Hey, so Oh, if you okay, forget this. I'm doing it, friends. I'm doing it. Where did he go? The man is definitely spooked out. The thing is, he's not going to put him on mini shields if he if he hasn't like done it yet. Do you reckon I can try and snipe him or something? I could easily just shoot this guy with a scar. I've let him rush me now. That's the problem. I shouldn't have let him rush me, but it worked out in the end. That <laughs> what a roller coaster! One hundred rockets. How many did this guy have? An extra eight. He had. Everyone I came across had a great loot. I'm not sure if it's because of the vending machines and everyone just went over and bought themselves like a, a purple heavy shotgun here, a gold. I mean, we had a gold RPG that we could have had. I took the guided missile instead. There's a gold sniper at the end. I had a scar already. He had a scar, definitely. There was a gold heavy shotgun. Is everyone just running around with amazing loot because of these vending machines? I can't work it out. Anyway, that was a bit of a fun game. There should have been a vending machine at the start, but at least we found those two in retail row. We got the mini shields from them. They definitely saved us in one of those engagements. If I didn't have those mini shields when that guy flanked me with a shotgun, I would have died. So thank you so much to the vending machine. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like rating. Subscribe to join the Item Empire. I'll see you all in the next one.